Hey everybody, Abdullah Shamari here. Today we're gonna go through another stock funware. Let's do it, let's make some money. Make sure to subscribe to my page, crush the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and check out my Patreon link below. You'll get insights into my watch list, my portfolios, my daily readings, as well as instant posts on my buys and sells each and every day as they're happening. We'll be going through Funware Inc. today. They had a recent surge in their stock price as well as the volume that people are trading the stock. They announced a partnership with another company in order to be able to boost their mobile advertising platform. We're gonna go over some things about the company, leadership, mainly financials, and then also just looking at the overall history of the company to determine if it's a good investment or not, and then also sharing if I've invested in this company. So first we'll kind of dive into the leadership. Again, it's a mobile advertising platform company. It's been around for a while since 2009. We'll start with the CEO, which we always do. The CEO has had successful ventures in the past. He's had acquisitions to Cisco. He has had acquisitions to companies that he's co-founded to level three. In both instances, he did, he did very well in those acquisitions. However, in this instance, he's been at this company for a while. It started in 2009 and it's gone till now. It went public in around 2016 and it's basically the stock was trading at a high of $10 or so. It went up to like 120 at one point and then now it's just continues to fall. It traded under a dollar at certain points and currently it's trading at about $2.38. So we can see that the CEO has been successful in this instance, it's taken him longer than usual to be able to generate an event at the company, whether that's an acquisition, whether that's just growing the company organically and helping the stock price grow, etc. Hasn't been able to provide the return to the investors that you would have hoped to that we've seen in his prior successes. So in this instance, the CEO, if you have confidence in him, he had a great history. However, in this instance, it's taken him a little bit longer. Potentially this business that he's trying to make profitable or scale is not as scalable as his prior companies so it's something to consider when you're investing in the company next we'll go over a little bit of the stock history we talked about it they went public in 2016 we can see that it was trading at about ten dollars a share and then it popped to high of three hundred dollars or so and then now it's again trading it traded under a dollar and then it's slowly increasing currently trading at two dollars and 38 cents with a 45 percent increase that just happened today the stock and we can see the one year target price is a 2.90 by analysts on the stock it has a little bit of potential growth in the stock the question is whether we can see significant growth happening with this company i guarantee you with the big pop in the stock price they're gonna do an offering. We'll go through the financials now. We can see the company does have profitable business from a gross margin perspective. They made $10 million on $19 million in revenue. And then in the year 2018, they made $19 million from 30 million in revenue, which isn't bad. Pretty good margins there, about 66%, 50 to 60 percent margins which aren't bad at all but from a mobile advertising platform company you probably want to see something in the 75 percent which is why we're probably seeing them still at a net loss rather than net income from a balance sheet perspective looking at the prior years we can see they're very low on cash two million four million we can go to their quarterly financials as of q3 they still only have 1.1 million in cash again this is important for these type of companies that are losing money because they need to be able, be able to have a runway to be able to scale their business. If they don't have that runway, then, then it's gonna be very hard for them to scale. Finally, looking at the cash flow for the company, we can see that they use up six million to about six million dollars in cash each year when we look at the quarterlies we can see that even quarterly they're using 1.7 2.8 1.9 million cash each quarter so we know that two million is not going to last them they need additional cash in order to be able to sustain their business you'll notice on my page one of the key things i focus on are the three statements the income statement the balance sheet as well as the cash flow these are able to give you a glimpse into the company's business, how they are doing and how they could potentially do and how much cash and money they have in order to be able to sustain their business and continue it to grow. And I focus on these metrics in order to be able to get a quick glimpse whether this investment is worth and worth putting your money in and what the long-term prospects of these businesses are. Sure, anybody can potentially make a few dollars here and there, 
on short-term gains. Sometimes you lose money, sometimes you make money because it's an estimated guess on what's gonna happen with the stock. Anybody can guess what's gonna happen, but nobody knows for a fact what's gonna happen in the short term. So from a long-term perspective, you always wanna be able to invest in sustainable businesses that can scale. In this case, the company Funware has been around for a while, they haven't been able to scale, and the mobile platform and mobile advertising platform has grown tremendously from 2009 to 2021. So the question is, is how much more time do they need to be able to scale their business? even with the huge burst in mobile platform advertising over the past 12 to 13 years. So in my opinion, this company don't think they're going to be able to do much. They might be able to find an acquisition where they'll get acquired by a bigger company who just wants to get some of their technology or key people that they have at the company. However, overall, I don't think it's going to create big returns for investors. So this is a stock that I will personally stay away from. We'll keep an eye on it, see what happens, but personally won't be investing in it. If you do have gains in the stock, make sure to sell those and get your profits. Um, those are my opinions. Let me know your thoughts as always. Make money, enjoy life, peace.